Today I'm going to show you a mod that is actually my favorite so far. Well, one of my tops, uh, anyways. Uh, one of the things that you will notice with your hobby laser, at least the version that I have, there are others out there like this, is that you it comes with a fixed head. You have this piece right here, which is screwed on, and it holds the lens. Well, the problem with that is if you want to do different thicknesses of material, you actually have to raise your actual uh, object that you're going to be engraving. So, if you've ever seen the larger lasers or more expensive lasers, um, they typically have a head that moves up and down. I wanted that on my laser. As an example, let's say I was going to laser engrave this plaque. I simply put the plaque down. I put my focal adjustment block that I made. I have a 50 millimeter lens on this unit, so that block is roughly 50 millimeters high. I simply loosen my head, raise it down to the level of the block, and then tighten it. And we are ready to laser engrave. It's been really helpful. It's a very simple. Um, you have a, a nut and in this case a wing nut and a bolt and a couple pieces that I laser cut with my laser. Now this, like I said, this mod is very simple. I'm actually going to provide you with a cut file and uh, you can actually download that uh, uh, yourself um, or you can make your own. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll cut these pieces out and we'll show you how to assemble um, this unit and put it together. Now, quick note, you may need to have a hot glue gun if you don't have one and acetone or weld on three. I am actually using 1 8 inch acrylic for this. Uh, you can use a thicker material if you want. Uh, my laser does okay with 1 8 inch so that's what I used. So let's go ahead and uh, cut these pieces out. Okay, so we're ready. I've adjusted the head, um, laser head with my block, and I'm going to go ahead and we'll start cutting the parts. Alright, if you can't tell already, I'm actually uh, laser cutting my, uh, my piece right now. I'll open that up real quick. You'll see it's cutting. And as soon as this thing uh, gets done, I will uh, show you uh, the basic assembly. Again, it's a pretty simple mod but it has been very handy. Okay, so I want to show you that the pieces have been cut on our laser as well as a few more pieces. You'll see I have the lens available and I also have a uh, wing nut and a bolt. Uh, they are 8 32nd is the size you're going to want to get. And Then you'll also see I have some acrylic glue. Now it's not really a glue but it's a solvent. It will bond the acrylic together um, you can get this online or you can get it from a local plastic store. Most will have this. And of course you can see the applicator. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of give you an idea of how this thing is put together. Okay, so we have these two pieces here. These are going to be glued together on top of this piece right here. So all those three pieces are going to be glued together. If you don't have weld on three, you can use acetone. Um, it takes longer to cure and isn't quite as strong, but it should work in most cases. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue. And it's going to set fairly quick. But while it's setting, you can kind of make sure that everything is square. Doesn't have to be perfect. It sets very fast. So, okay, voila, we're good to go there. 
Um, I apologize, I forgot to show you one extra piece, and that's this piece right here. Um, this piece glues onto that piece, and this hole is slightly smaller than this hole, and that's so the lens doesn't fall through. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue that together. And the lens is actually going to fit right in there. Now it's going to fit fairly uh, snug. I might get a pressure fit the lens in and it won't pop out. We'll let that set for a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so we also need to glue this slider deal right here. And that's going to fit right there. Now I made this little jig so it's easier for me to uh, glue two pieces together. You don't have to have one but it's going to make it easier. Okay. Give it a little bit better look. Too excited, they gotta. Okay, we'll just still let that sit for a moment. Now, while that's setting, I'm gonna pull out my glue gun and I'm gonna drop the bolt right in there, like that. And then I'm gonna fill this with. Hot glue. Put that set in water. And that'll just take a moment too. Once that dries, I'll fill it a little bit more. Kind of getting the idea. And you could use epoxy, but or another kind of glue, but I like hot glue because it cures very fast. Remember hot glue is very, very well hot. Now the Weld On 3, it can take up to 24 hours to get really hard. And so I'm going to let this sit overnight and I'll come back and we'll finish assembling it. But uh, you can see where we're going with this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. As you can see, I already have my other lens uh, head adjuster assembled. But this kind of shows you the finished product, but as you can tell, we basically take this piece right here and we glue it on to this portion of the laser. I like to use hot glue because it's easily removable um, if you need it to come off, but it's actually quite strong and will hold just fine onto this piece of uh, metal right here. But if you can't already tell, once you glue that on, You'll slide over your new lens head adjuster and you'll put on the wing nut and voila you'll be done. Of course you can see my finished product here. And really that's, a, that's about it. Um, again one of my favorite mods. It should serve you well, and if you have any questions, 
please feel free to message me and I will get back to you well as hopefully as soon as I see the comment come in thanks for checking out another uh, hack a hobby uh, tutorial and I hope you come and uh, check out some of my other videos that you may, might have not seen or uh, I'm going to be coming out with more videos too thanks again